And now at five, a regular day on the job turned deadly for an Amazon trucker when someone opened fire on his big rig, sending it flying off the freeway. The victim was a father of two and a refugee. Thanks for joining us for the CBS 13 News at 5. I'm Marley Ginter. And I'm Curtis Ming. Drone 13 flew over the crash site yesterday in Lathrop. The truck went off Interstate 5, crashing into parked cars and a building. CBS 13's Tori Avadaka spoke with victim's family in an interview you'll see only on CBS 13. Ilkham Shadiv was a father, a husband, a brother, the sole provider of his family, and now a shooting victim. This is where the crash happened on Thursday. He was driving his big rig along I-5 when he was shot at and then crashed in this Kelly Business Park area. I spoke with his wife and a close family friend who are just devastated by this loss and want justice for Ilkham. He was a person with like a big heart. He was like helpful. He loved his family. This is Ilkham Shadiv, the Amazon delivery driver who was shot while driving on his big rig on I-5 in Lathrop. She said, she said that she was trying to call him because she didn't believe that and he was not picking up the phone. We spoke with Ilkham's wife and a close family friend who were at their home in North Carolina, too devastated to show their faces on camera. She still cannot believe it because we haven't seen the body yet. The couple moved to America four years ago from Tajikistan. When they got married, they couldn't have a child, like kids for like five years. Then they welcomed their first child three years ago and another last year. And he was trying to work so hard doing truck driving so he can save some money and have a happy life later on with his family. For a big rig that went off the freeway into a building. But his plans for his family cut short. After getting shot on I-5, he drove off the freeway, crashing into the Kelly Business Park. He only hit two parked cars and the building. No one else was hurt. Some witnesses calling this a miracle. Like, even he's in this trouble, but he's trying to make sure that his trouble is not going to hurt somebody else. He saw a gray gun come out of the passenger side window of a car. He had been FaceTiming his family just hours before the accident. They have no idea who would have targeted him. FaceTiming with him and he was just looking at his kids. And we were asking her, like, if he was fine. She said he was happy. Witnesses say this was a case of road rage, but police still giving no motive as they continue the search for the shooting suspect. And back out here live, you can see that boarded up wall. I am told that the brothers were out here earlier and were trying to clean off the blood. Definitely just really devastating out here and the hearts of so many people, the businesses, witnesses that I've been talking with, of course, going out to him and his family during this time. I also did speak with Amazon and they cannot tell us if uh, they plan on helping with any of the expenses for funeral cost or building repairs. I do know though that the family is creating a GoFundMe fundraiser campaign, which we will have on our website. And that shooting suspect still on the loose. So if you happen to be traveling along I-5 heading northbound between 120 and Louise Avenue on Thursday afternoon, do contact Stockton CHP. I certainly need any witnesses to come forward with information. Tori, thank you.